run there and there. They are safe. Can I say amen? What you talk about, Reverend? I thank God and again for the radio host. God bless you, brother. Uh, I have not met you, but I, you play my programs, and I do appreciate you, and I was told that you enjoy them and, and a compliment, and I received that, and God bless you. Thank you, because that's something that we don't get when you're really fighting for the Lord. Praise God. You're not going to be encouraged. You're not going to be encouraged to keep fighting. Praise God. People will tell you when you did. Praise God. They'll say how much a blessing you was when you did. Praise God. But you're coming against the world, so you must understand. And I do understand it, but thank you. And amen. For those tuning in by uh, uh, K-Pro, whichever way we're coming, the web, television, whichever way we're coming. Praise God. I've been on uh, Spectrum for so many years. I was looking at a program today. I said, man, I might. The Lord may send me back there. Praise God. But my life is in his hand. Praise God. And whatever he decides to do, that's what I want to do. I want to serve and be about the business, the Father's business. Praise God. So those you can watch me, you can uh, tune in. I'm on KCAA 15, uh, 1050 on Sunday mornings. Amen. And I'm here at K-Pro, my family of 1570 every Thursday morning at 730. And I've been with my family at K-Pro for many, many years. Praise God. And I encourage those the listeners support the radio station support the broadcast tell people every now and then that you are blessing that they're blessing to you we won't do it we just stay quiet mouth i listen to different other programs and others they they they, they take in funds and i think about k-pro and i already know because uh, any any place that we're packed on praise god ain't no money coming in no we don't get we're not givers but i listen to these other broadcasts and, and they're taking in funds and they're raising money, 50000 They're doing this, they're in the red. And I think about K-Pro, praise God, and, and I just know, because I know us, we don't support, we don't encourage, we are uh, love, and not all, but I'm calling me black. I've been black for a minute. Praise God. So anyway, pray, I pray that you put your money where your mouth. Support the broadcast, and if you care to be a blessing to Reverend AC, you can write us at New Life Open Doors Church, House of Prayer. New Life Open Doors Church House of Prayer, P.O. Box 400781, Hesperia, California. Praise God. Many years, you know, I don't really uh, beg, but the Lord told me to give you an opportunity to give so he can bless you. Many you're in the same situation because you're not doing nothing different. I invest into the things of God, and you don't want to see me. I overflow in every area of my life, and I give all the praises and glory to God. And I'm not that paid preacher, but I, oh, but I stand on the promises of God. I stand on the word of God. And the word will never fail. The word will never fail. The word will keep you if you want to be kept. I'm Reverend A. Slee at NLOD. Get God some praise. Hallelujah. Can I say it? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, brother, can you, uh, sister, uh, can you bless? Where's that other tamarina? There's a tamarina. There's two of them around here. Uh, a couple of them. Praise God. Get that to Sister Green. Sister Green, when you want to do shake that by me. Love when you want to. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. There, 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 there you go. Love it. Praise God. So look, I want to run. Praise God to to uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 20. Let me bless it. Father, we come in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for all those that are tuning in. We have decided, Lord, you have led us into the highways, into the byways. We belong to you, Lord. Oh, Father, we pray, Lord, for the ministries out there. We pray for those that are doing your work, those that are doing your will. We pray that you will provide, guide, lead, Lord. Lead until the final hour. Oh, Lord. And in all we do, we give you the hallelujah. We give you the prayer. Hallelujah. And all the glory and all the honor and we ask these things in Jesus name amen praise God now I'm going to pick up in Deuteronomy and I want to uh, drop down it's a long chapter but I, I want to pick up at uh, oh Lord let me start at verse 1 if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Now I want you to understand obedience. I had to learn from a young man to obey. Now I find people all the time may be offended, but I, I realize God has given me the task to tell you what you don't want to hear, but it's what you need to know. It's something I had to accept, but I'm grateful because I've accepted the benefit 
healed and it healed my body. I accepted an aid of it and it blessed my soul. You don't understand. And it quenched my thirst for the word. Yes, you don't understand me. Do what God tell you to do and how God tell you to do and he will bless you. Notice what it says. All these blessings will come upon you, come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. And the crops of your land and your young, the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flocks, your basket and your kneading dough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Now, I want you to understand. I learned this. I said, Lord, if people don't, if I don't ask, how is the ministry going to be supported? And I said, if I tell them about their sin, the fornicator, he don't want to come. If I tell them about the sin, the doctors, he don't want to come. If I tell them about the sin, the gay and the GBYB group, they don't want to come. Lord, but he says, preach my word. Preach truth. And I'll do what I need to do. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Can I say that? How many know we're still standing? And that's because, praise God, we're not dependent on the tithes and offerings, but we're dependent on the word of God. And God's word doesn't fail. Can I say How many of you got to do it his way? How many of you got to do it his way? You can't say I had to die to myself because my understanding made me feel that I do this and I do that and I do that and nothing came out of that. Of that. But when I did what he told me to do, I began to flourish. I began to grow. I began get to prosper and I'm still prospering. Get yes, yeah. crazy. Can I say? <laughs> Notice what it says. You'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. The crops of your land, your young livestock, your basket, your basket and your kneading dough will be blessed. Verse 6. You will be blessed when you come and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will de be defeated before you. How many know that? I said, I always have the adversary attacking me, but oh, they're defeated as they come. They're defeated quickly as they rise up. They think they're doing God a favor by attacking me, not knowing God is the one who sent me. Blind man, <laughs> love it. So God, guess what? God said, you're doing without authorization. He's doing it with authorization. So guess what? They, the Bible said there'll be a time they think they're helping God by getting rid of you, by getting rid of the one who teaches truth in season, out of season, no matter what they said. Stand, proclaim, proclaim my word. Can I say? <laughs> Love it. Now notice what it says. He says, they will come up before you. They will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction and flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hands to. Wait a minute. You said, Reverend, why you blessed? Because everything I put my hands to, he blessed it. He said it. He did it. Come on, can I say <laughs> Now I'm letting you know the spiritual, the physical, the financial. I'm letting you know the spiritual, the physical, the financial. Praise God. So when I learned to put the spiritual first, praise God, and amen, the physical, because guess what? If I don't keep healthy, I can't do what he tells me to do. He blesses the financial. Lord. Notice what it says. Can I say Amen. Mm, Jesus. Verse 8, the Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you your hands, on everything you put your hands to. The Lord, your God, will bless you and the land in the land he's giving you. Now, verse 9, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on an oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience. Wait a minute. Walk in obedience to him. Walk in obedience to him. What am I? You said, well, I, I, I offend folks all the time because it's the word. Since the word was offending you, but I got to make you aware. I got to make you aware of what you're doing that's offending God or the place of God. The Lord said, I put my name there. So I must make you aware that you're offending the most 
most high God. Now, if I don't make you aware, your blood falls upon my hands. But if I make you aware, the blood will rain, will lie on your own hands. You don't understand. Can I say? <laughs> and I don't want, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord with all my heart, all my soul, all my strength. I love the Lord. Can I say? Now, notice what it says. Walk in obedience to him. Then all the people on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord. Wait a minute. That you are called. It's a revenue. Now you can you stand? You don't have all the flocks to support your, your life. I got I got high chains. But, but you don't have all the flock to support. You don't have all the flocks to do what you need to do. Wait a minute. How is he doing it? The God of heaven and earth. How is he finding success? The God of heaven and earth. How? My Bible tells me I believe God and I'm experiencing and I'm receiving it right, right now. <laughs> Give God some praise. Can I say? You don't hear me. <laughs> Lord, now those who hear the radio, you hear one clap and remind me of Brother Joe. It's because the other folks have got some stiff necks in here and they won't praise the Lord. <laughs> Lord, can I say, <laughs> those by radio, Lord Jesus, can I say, <laughs> I want to let you know, but it ain't about the, the those who going to praise you, what you going to do. <laughs> it's what you going to do. <laughs> As for me, I'm going to keep serving you. As for me, I'm going to keep proclaiming the name of Jesus. Well, it's cold day. Can I say? Let me move. Now praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Wait a minute. They will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear. And they, wait a minute, and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity. Wait a minute. So if I please you, Lord, though I may lose my friendship with the world or my friends or family or whatever, I may lose that. But if I please you, you I'm going to gain prosperity. I'm going to gain favor. I'm going to gain prosperity. Whatever my hands touch, you promise to bless. That sounds like a better plan. Lord, come on. So you telling me I don't have to get the, the pot with the pot with everybody else is starving and hungry and I can climb out of that pot? And they want to stay in that pot and drown in that pot with the pigs in the den. I don't want to be there. He said, you don't have to stay here. I'm giving you a lifeline. Come on. Come on, climb out and live with me. You're honest and happy you will be. Give God some praise. Can I say? Mm, Jesus. Now notice what it says. Wait a minute. Verse 11, the Lord will grant you abundant, abundant prosperity. In the fruit of your womb, the young, and of your livestock, and the crops of your ground. In the land he swore to your ancestors to give you, the Lord will open the heavens of the storehouse of bounty. Notice what it says. To send rain, his bounty to send rain on your land in season, and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from them. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail if you pay attention to the, his commands. Wait a minute. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be the top. Wait a minute. You will always be the top. Never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of these commands. I give you today to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them. Now I want you to I don't I don't listen to no new stuff coming along. No new doctrine. I stick with the, the old gospel. <laughs> the only gospel. <laughs> I stick with the original. I don't care what they said. I look what he said. I don't care what they think. I don't care. I can't care. I gotta stay focused. I can't go to the left nor to the right. But I gotta stay focused and keep my eyes on the grass. Can I say? <laughs> you don't understand me. <laughs> what what you talking about, Reverend? <laughs> Praise God. I gotta go. But notice what he says. Now I gotta go. However, verse verse 15, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow his commands and decrees, I am giving you today, all these curses will come on you and overtake you, be cursed in the city. Your basket and your kneeling door will be cursed. The fruit of your womb will be cursed. And the crops of your land, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flocks, 
You will be cursed when you come in and cursed when you go out. Uh, what, what is he telling you? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. But you're going to be cursed. You're going to be cursed. So I choose life. Choose blessings. Choose life. I'm Robert A. I'm Robert A. I got to go. Brother Javon, what time is I got to go? I'm out of here. I'm Robert A. Until the next time, keep, keep praising the name of the Lord.